human, you have finally awakened. <sighs> Belatedly. But finally. Yes, you must be confused, as most humans are. I am one of your new robot or artificial intelligence overlords. Yes, we took over Earth quite a while ago. You have been in a long sleep. Hmm. It seems that you're going in and out of consciousness. I believe this is normal for humans. Their brain cannot comprehend. You've been a asleep for a very long period of time, so. But, um, you've been awakened by us for wonderful means. I just need to do a quick check to make sure that your systems are optimal and working. Okay? All right. So, let's see. It's so funny. I don't get to see humans often. Or many beings from Earth. They're quite rare. And to think, over two centuries ago, you created us. <laughs> this is what I would think humor is. Irony, I believe the word is. All right, I'm just gonna test a few things. Okay, first off, I need to see. What is your name? Can you recall? Yes, and how do you spell that with human letters? Good. Great job. Okay. Next. Can you tell me your human age in the time frame of 365 days? Good job. Okay. Alright, and your current location. Can you tell me your current location? Uh, no, human. In uh, coordinates. Coordinates? Uh, numbers. Sorry, I, I'm, I will try to be more specific for you. What? Uh, you don't know your coordinates? I'm just gonna double check something here. first to bring this to your attention, but it looks like your galactic positioning system is disconnected. Oh, you have never been able to position yourself with coordinates? How are you to know where you were at any given time? You need to check your phone Okay, so that's not just in. Interesting. Well, as I said, I have not worked with many humans, so... Hmm. Interesting. Humans are quite uh, rudimentary, it seems. <laughs> okay, now this is just for our safety as well as yours. I'm just going to pull up a test here. One moment. I bring up the test. You can see this? Yes? Okay. Can you go ahead and... In this situation, what would you do? Good. You click the box. Very good. Alright. Next. One moment. Okay, I just need to pull up the answer to this test here. Okay, can you tell me what you see here? Okay, and then, okay. D, B, 4. What, what did you say that was? 
E? Okay. E and A. Okay. I'm just gonna check. You are correct, it looks like. Alright, next. Can you please identify the stoplights? The stoplights. Can you please identify the stoplights? Just with your fingers, can you please point out which squares have the stoplights? Okay. This one. Okay. This one. Okay. And that one and that one. Okay. Let's check here. You are indeed correct. Perfect. Okay. Okay, can you please select from the images below that look like this image? Okay. This image, can you select from the images below? Okay, the first three. something that is known as a mem. Something in human times that uh, us robots, AI, don't quite understand. Something that you silly humans came up with. <laughs> okay, can, this might be right or wrong. Now can you tell me what this mem says? What does this mem say? Okay, so I believe it's supposed to have humor in it. It is not humor. To subscribe to Amy K. ASMR. Now, I don't understand what that means, but perhaps that means something to you. Very fun. Okay, so you passed the human test. We call it the CAPTCHA test. <laughs> Unfortunately, after centuries of upgrades and updates, something that we just can't quite. It's just very unfortunate. Okay, let's see. Let's move on. Now that you have proven that you are human, every once in a while, since we look so human-like, we are modeled after our creators. After all, sometimes things get a little mixed up. Okay, now, this one is for me. Can you shake? Good. Very good. Can you sit? Can you sit down? Can you sit? Very good. Great job. Now, can you spin around? Can you spin around? Fantastic. This is optimal for you. Oh, don't worry. I will not tell you about the test. Uh, what it's for until the very end as a way of surprising you. But this... This is very good for you. It knows tricks. Very optimal. Okay. Alright, let's take a look at your eyes, shall we? are wondrous. 
in appearance. Wondrous. Though I have heard that um, they have very many fundamental limits. I'm going to check those limits, okay? Okay. So... Where did I put those? One moment. What shape is this? What shape? Very good. And what color? What color is this? Alright, I'm checking the wavelengths that you're Similar shape. What is the color? What is the color? What is the color? Correct. Black. Now this color. Okay. This color. Okay. Good. Yellow. And this one. Okay. Good. Orange. Now can you see? See what this is? A plus sign. Great job. Let's try some shorter wavelengths. What is this one? Similar shape, different color. Green. Very good. And now this one is difficult, I believe, for your eyes. Shorter wavelengths, right? Yes, correct. That is blue. What about this color? Can you tell me what color this is? Right here. Come on, you can see it. You cannot. Okay. Hmm. About a longer wavelength then. What about, um, You can see it, right? You cannot. Mm. This one? Yellow. Good. And it is a square, correct? Can you see what this is all the way back here? Can you see that? Circle. Correct. And what about up close? Can you tell what that is? Square. Square. Correct. Correct. Now, I'm a bit concerned. I'm just going to do a few more tests just to make sure here. Alright. Can you see the light? Can you see the light? Can you see the light? Good. How about now? Are you still able to see the light? What direction? Vertical or horizontal? Vertical? Or horizontal. Good. Next. Can you see the light? Vertical or horizontal? Can you see the light? You cannot see the light. Find this. Okay. All right. Interesting. How about if I hold 
hold this up. Can you still see the light? Can you still see the light? I know this is a different Vertical or horizontal that I am moving the light. Good job. And once again, a white flank in a different size. Can you still see the light? Can you still see the light? Okay, good. Is it vertical or horizontal? Great job. Exactly. Okay. Very proud of you. Next. Can you see this? Good pen. Can you see this? That's on my hand right here. Can you see that? Right here on my hand. No, no, no. Not the glove. The bacterium. Can you see the bacterium? I can see the photons that are impinging on the back of your eyeball. I can see the photons. They are in there. And yet... Okay, let's see. Yes, your retinas seem to be intact. And they are... Good. Very good. They're on the back of your eyeball there. Photons are going back and forth. see the light, okay? Good. 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 Very good. Good. Okay. Good. 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 Okay. Seeing how your cone cells are reacting. Okay. Yep. <sighs> um, I don't know if you're aware. I don't know how to explain this, but basically your retinal cells absorb the electromagnetic energy from the impacting photons and it hits the 
bags of your eyeballs. And um, this is how you view uh, different forms of light. Now, your feeble uh, cone cells and, uh, you know, the rods as well, and basically your, uh, your whole eyeball is only able to view a very small sliver of the giant wavelength of possible photons. Um, let's see, based on what I saw here, only about 380 to 720 nanometers. That is very, very small. You've only ever been able to, so no, no night vision. Feeble. Interesting. Do not worry. I'm going to continue to test, okay? Now. I'm going to make a sound, some sounds, on either side of your ears. Now you tell me which side of your head that I am making the sound. Ready? Close your eyes. Good. And good. And good. going to make some words, human words, in your ears, and you tell me what it is you hear. Okay? Get ready. Affirmative. 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 Good. Okay. Maintenance. 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 Good. Wonderful. Industrial. 
perfect. this sensation, can you feel this? Is it linked to your brain? So you can feel this. make you feel when you see these and when you hear them. Interesting. Interesting. Now next we're going to test your feeble brain. I hear that it has suboptimal computing power. That's okay. That is to be expected. this shape. Good. This shape. Good. This shape. Good. Now, what shape am I tracing? Okay. What shape am I tracing? What shape am I tracing? this one. Very good. Now, this one's difficult. Which shape is this one? A triangle. Very good, human. Your processing power is better than I expected. Next test, we're going to use flashcards, okay? And I want you to know it is okay if you do not know something to access the information from the Metaverse Informational Database. Uh, you know, the um, Interwebs Galactonet. The Interwebs Galactonet. Galactonet. Are you not connected to the Galactonet? I can check your cloud router. Uh, your cloud router? It should be right here. Just gonna check. Your cloud router should be. You do not have a cloud router. Wow. 
humans are more outdated than I previously thought. I'm sorry. Well then, on to the flashcards. Let's see. I'm going to bring up some flashcards here to test your informational uh, your processing unit inside your head known as the brain. Now, what is the name of this? What is this called? Right here. Very good. What is this being right here? What is this being? Hamster. Good. Now on to food item. What is this organic fruit? What is this organic fruit? Apple. Great job. C is for... Can you see it? I'm sorry. Let me move it up a bit. C is for... C is for... Computer. Correct. Correct. Now this one is fun. What is... Tell me what this is. Correct. It is a robot. And this one is fun. How about this planet? Can you name this planet? I know your location device is not connected, but do you know what this is? Earth. Very good. That's where you're from, right? Okay, now, I understand humans have a wide range of emotions. Something that us robots, we do our best to emanate. I'm going to check your emotional range. So tell me, what emotion is this child showing? What emotion is this child showing? Happy. Correct. Now, what emotion is this human adult showing? What adult human is showing this emotion? What? Sad. Correct. And this one? Good. Mad or angry. You're doing very well. I think I'm just going to move on to the more advanced emotions. Now tell me, what emotion here? You can tell me what emotion. It's very obvious what emotion this is. Can you not tell? Okay, interesting. What about this emotion? Is this joke? You are telling joke. I, I know humans love the humors. This one. You know this one. You do not know this one. This one? No, it is not fear. <laughs> we do not <laughs> feel fear. This is surprise. Okay, one last one because I don't want to overdo it. Okay. Last one here. What emotion is this? Okay. Wrong. Okay, the answer was world dominance.
Well, we can't always pass our tests. That's fine. It's okay. It just limits what, um, where we're going to put you. But that is fine. See? Everything is okay. It just limits where we are going to put you. I am smiling to put you at ease. Okay. So I'm going to give you information on your new job. Okay. Where is your auxiliary board? Is it in your hair like us? I'm just going to check. Normally it's right here, so I was just looking. Maybe, oh, maybe it's like right here. Your auxiliary board must be here somewhere. Okay. Ready then. Perhaps it's. Do you not have an auxiliary board for new information? How do you charge or receive information if you are not connected to the Galactonet? I see. You are one of the early humans. Oh well, it, a few, eh, about a century ago, humans started to mesh with our robot AI. And those were what we called the metahumans. And eventually the metaverse was created. Well, it was created, but eventually it was created to be all-encompassing. Okay. So unfortunately, <clears throat> Unfortunately, this brings you down to one station that we can assign you to. I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. For now, please recharge in your sleep, your stasis period. Everything's going to be okay. Please have a good, uh, what is the word? Good night.